This is what happens when you put the gain too high. Plugging in now. It goes crazy. So that setting was here. It was originally at 13, I put it to 31 the max just to see what it does. So that was a horrible idea. <laughs> 13, put it back there, and then you have to press the download button, and then it sends it to the uh, servo motor. You would think it's the upload, but they have it backwards. Their nomenclature is download, puts the value onto the motor, upload, reads the, the value from the motor. So now uh, I have these warnings. And the fault was motor overload. Let's see if I can clear it. I found I can only clear the position fault, but any of the overload faults, I can't clear them. And I actually have to uh, disconnect my system. And then it's back to normal. And let's see. Okay. So now it's working again. Uh, here's another interesting thing I found. So I went through all of these. So I think the short, <laughs> the summary is don't change anything. I messed around with a few of the settings and it just messes things up. Um, one thing I noticed that might be okay to play around with is this torque setting. So it was originally set at 200 and I changed it to 300. But uh, let me show you what happens if I change the positive direction to let's say 10. And then to make it have effect you have to hit the download button and then this pops up saying it sent it to the servo. So now the, the torque is 10 in the positive direction and 300 in the negative direction. And then if I go back to the servo, so now I can turn it very easily in the positive direction and it snaps back. I'm, I'm using hardly any pressure, but in the negative direction it's, it's resisting quite a bit. So you can set, you can set that how you want. And it limits the torque, so it's kind of cool. And you can see how far I'm turning it and it doesn't, uh, another thing, now position error. So I'm turning it, you know, that was a one full revolution, one full revolution, and it doesn't alarm position error. So it actually takes, and then it goes back. So I'd have to turn this uh, quite a lot to get it to fault on the position error. And that setting is here, position parameters. So it's this one. Um, so it's position deviation and has a range from zero to about 65,000. So its default was 30,000. And I tried lowering it, because as you can see, right now it's at 10,000. So even at 10,000, which is a third of the default, you know, you can turn this many turns and it won't, it won't trip the alarm. I lost count, but that's probably at least five turns, and then it goes back. Uh, so what happens, you would think, if I made this a small value, like 100, and then download that to the servo, servo. okay, that's successful. 
So that's 100. And this says it's actually times 10. Where is it? Uh, command unit times 10. So this is 100 pulses times 10, which is 1,000 pulses. And right now I have the servo set in uh, Mach, not Mach, uh, UCCNC to 32,000 pulses per inch. So uh, it would be uh, 10,000 over 32,000. So my error right now would be 300, uh, 312, so 5 sixteenths of an inch uh, in position. And you would think, well, that's, that's horrible. Uh, and now if I do that, so now it alarmed out. It took about uh, one turn. Uh, I might have done the math wrong, but anyway, it was about, yeah, I definitely did the math wrong. Because uh, the machine doesn't move that much in one turn. But anyway, it was, it was about one turn, which I don't think we'd want our machine to be off that much. Uh, that would be 50 thousandths on a take, lead screw, and I think uh, 2.5 millimeters or about 100 thousandths on a ball screw. Uh, but if you put it there, you know, if you put it to a value like this, and now let me let me clear the error. So it has 501 position deviations too large. This one I can clear. The other errors I can't clear. I have to turn this, uh, unplug the system. So now, now I'm back. Uh, the thing is, though, if I Start. If I start UCCNC now, and I do a jog at fifty percent, so it's working okay. But if I go to uh, full speed. It just it just alarmed out, and then if I go to uh, the JMC software on the warning, it's the same warning. Position deviation is too large. Now it's back. So I found through a lot of uh, not a lot, just five or six minutes of experimentation that. Uh, you know, this value here, oh, by the way, I, I know what I did wrong on the math. It's 100 times 10, which is 1,000, 1,000 over 3,200. Huh, never mind. Okay, so through a little bit of trial and error, five or six minutes, I found this number, the default was 30,000. Uh, I found 10,000, anything less than 10,000 wasn't going to be good. Just in normal use of the CNC, it would trip it. Uh, so I know that's multiple turns of error, and I don't know if that's how other servo systems do it, but that's, that's got, the way it's got to be, uh, at least from my experimentation. So I'll download that back to the motor. Uh, now, back to the motor. Uh, remember, in the one direction we have the torque set really low. So now I can turn it, you know, multiple times and it won't trip. And then back to UCCNC at uh, 178 inches per minute. Now there's no air. And that's uh, RPM wise. That's uh, 3500 RPM. Okay. The other setting here, let's see, on the parameters. 
So we went over position deviations. So I, you know, maybe there's a way to change some other settings so when it's lower it won't trip, but I haven't figured that out. Uh, the Oh, so here the gain, uh, you saw how, uh, default is 13 and that's, uh, I don't think I'd mess with that. I put it up to 30 just to see what it looked like and uh, I'll splice in the footage of what that look does. It, it made the whole system go nuts. Uh, so maybe there's a higher value than 13, but uh, I'm kind of of the opinion after looking at all these numbers to leave everything alone. Uh, maybe change this, but I'm wondering if I should put it back to 30,000. And the torque, I'd say the torque the torque might be a good one to change. So the default was 200. And if I put in, oh, let me see something. Let me go back to the monitor. So right now it's 10 and negative 300. So if I go back to the monitor here, these torque values, right? So I'm gonna spin the motor now. I'm going to spin this clockwise, okay, just like that. And while I'm doing that, you can see this number tops out at uh, positive 9.6. And then if I turn it the other way, which I had it set at negative uh, 300, I can't even turn it. You can see the number goes to about 150, and then it alarmed out. So it goes, it goes significantly higher. Uh, so now I have the driver failure here. And if I go to the warning, I got the 410 overload, and I can't clear that one. I don't know why. So I have to unplug the whole system again. Now it's back, so 10 in this direction and 300 in that direction. So let me go back to this. So in summary for parameters, I think I might try changing this unless you had a current draw limitation. So I'm gonna put these to 300 300 and positive 300 and negative 300. The default was 200 and negative 200. And that definitely made a difference. I can feel it would resist my turning uh, more. Okay, so this is probably the most torque the motor can get. And then the other change, uh, position maybe lower this from 30,000 to 10,000, but if you go any lower than that, it's probably gonna have problems. And that's it. I wouldn't touch anything else. Uh, yeah, I would not touch anything else. At least for now. I'm gonna see if I can tune this a little bit better. This is what it does now with the stock settings. I found this user on YouTube and he's got this video. And he changes a few of the settings. So I'm gonna try his settings on ours. So the first one he changes is P0102. P01. O2. And this is what uh, does the automatic adjustment. So he put it his in manual. Zero. And then anytime you make a change, you have to hit the download button. And that's what sends it to the server. If 
the upload button reads from the servo, the download sends to the servo. So let me see. And then P0132, P0132, he changed this from 100 to 50, sorry. <coughs> and again, you have to press the download. Okay. And then the next one he changed is P0200. So P0200 zero, 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 changed this 48 to 600. And download, upload. And then the next one is P0203, change it to 60. P0203. P0203. Speed proportional gain P0210, change it to 180. P0210, And then the next one is can't read the velocity and go P0211, change it to 5. P0211, here it is. P0211, change it to 5. Download, okay. And then, oop, the last one. P0219, change to 200. P0219, download. Okay, now let's see what it does. Well, it didn't work for me. 